Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini's Moon, Sun, and Rising. Um, if you guys are interested in private consultations, look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. So let's move forward. Uh, like I said, this is for Gemini's. So let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of September 2017 regarding your love life. So I've been shuffling the cards for quite a while. Okay, let's get into your reading, Gemini's. So, the general energy at the present time is the Ten of Swords. So, Gemini's, there's a lot of endings for you guys. Obviously, the Ten of Swords, it's the ending of trials and tribulations, uh, the ending of a cycle of struggle or differences within your relationship or with your partner. So, let's pull out your four cards. And then I will be pulling out four cards representing your partner. Okay. And let me see. Let's bring it back in. The center issue. The center issue. The center issue is the winter months. Regarding the love life for the mid September 2017. Okay, your center issue at the present time is the Ace of Cups. All right, Gemini's. So for those of you guys that are currently in a long-term committed relationship or have been for quite a while now, the Eight of Cups definitely talks about moving forward or moving away from this relationship or an emotional disconnect uh, with your partner. Okay, this is the center issue. So again, this could be represented in many different ways, and one of them could be the fact that you are at the present Wanting to walk away from this relationship or wanting to give up in this relationship. It probably has to do with a lot of miscommunication and misunderstanding. Because on both spectrum, uh, with you and your partner, there is a lot of air energy. So air energy, obviously this is your sign, you are a Gemini. But, um, you know, having a knight, having the king, having the page, those are all very forceful energies. And it's definitely talking about a lot of, like, chaotic type of energy, very forceful type of energy, jealousy, um, just getting to, you know, the epitome of uh, trials and tribulations. Um, so again, the Ten of Swords definitely does talk about the ending of that. So this could be represented as moving away from those difficulties. But again, it is a general reading. It could represent very well. Some of you guys may be walking away from this relationship. Okay. So at the present, Gemini's, these are your cards. You have the Knight of uh, the Knight of Swords. So definitely very forceful type of energy, a lot of miscommunication, a lot of fights, arguments, not being able to see eye to eye or try to understand even. Uh, sometimes it feels like your partner um, is going out of their way to make your life a little bit more difficult or a little bit more harder. Um, at least that's the way you're perceiving it at the present time. Uh, the Knight of uh, swords can also represent a message coming through or someone communicating something that is very negative in regards to your relationship. So it could be rumors. Um, it could be doubts, even fears that you may, may be having or have been having for quite a while. And they start to uh, come to you, um, giving you more clarity in reference to that. Now you do have the seven of cups here and the seven of cups is very scattered energy. Uh, it could be uh, you feeling like you're being pulled uh, like you're trying to work out your relationship, but also you're struggling money-wise um, and having family problems, family issues. So it's almost like you're pu being pulled in different directions. And that's the reason why you're having that scattered energy. You're not being able to focus or pull your, or put your full focus, uh, focus, sorry, your full focus, focus. Why do I keep saying focus? Your full focus on trying to fix something. So the way I'm perceiving it is as if, you know, when there's um, strive in relationships, but usually when it comes to business and money-wise, you're doing really good. It almost seems like you can never mesh everything in perfect balance and harmony. Well, this is actually the opposite. It's like you keep having issues and problems in different aspects of your life where you feel like literally people are pulling you in different directions, okay? Now, there is a very high need for you to connect spiritually. And what I mean by that is, a lot of you guys may be uh, reaching out to spirituality, meditation, 
um, different belief systems, uh, etc. But what the high priestess is definitely talking about here, the high priestess is all about the mystery and it's also about the things that are being hidden. So listen to your intuition because even though things may not seem clear, even though things may not be uh, as certain or not having that physical proof for some of you guys, if you guys have been having doubts with your partner that they may be cheating, there may be a third party type of energy, you just haven't had that proof a lot of the times you really won't get that proof. So what it's telling you here, the high priestess is you already know or you're already certain about certain things, certain aspects in your life that are definitely not working for you. So you need to change it, okay? You can't just sit back and hope and hope and hope that things are gonna change. It has to start with you. So stop trying to take shortcuts. Uh, again, that of the high priestess also talks about uh, different practices uh, and the, the way I'm receiving it is very clear. If the reason why you keep tapping into different, like an example, different religions, uh, different belief systems, etc., if you don't feel like none, none, none of them are working for you, it's perhaps not that they're not right for you. It's more so that you're not willing to put the effort or the work that comes along with that. So the high priestess is telling you, you know, a lot of the times we already know the truth or the truth lies within ourselves, but it's up to us to make certain changes in order for it to be manifested in the material plane or in the waking life. So with that, with that said, you do have the magician card here and the magician is all about having all the elements or having um, <clears throat> basically all the possibilities to manifest whatever it is that you're wanting, whether it's balancing your relationship, whether it's understanding, whatever it may be. But again, the high priestess and the magician definitely talks about, um, you know, tapping into the esoteric, uh, wanting to manifest. So for some of you guys, it could be even like self-work where you guys are doing like spells for yourself for growth and advancement, whatever it may be, or to balance out your relationship, whatever, whatever it may be. Ultimately, uh, the high priestess is definitely telling you that if there are certain aspects in your life that are not working out, Stop blaming other people and take ownership of that. If you have to correlate or work through certain situations, certain psychological issues that you have, now is the time to do so because you're going to be able to see it with a more clear mind and having clarity of mind is going to help you look at what we're doing on a personal level uh, that keeps self-sabotaging ourselves, okay? It also speaks about having all the elements, all the tools on the table for you to manifest and bring to you whatever it is that you want, but it's you lacking or not wanting to put that effort. So again, Gemini's, it's very important um, not to just sit there and hope and hope and hope. You have to put that effort. You have to uh, commit yourself, if anything else, to working that relationship out. You have to commit yourself to putting that extra effort. And if it is you, the one that's doing this, I'm putting so much effort and emphasis in your relationship. Perhaps it's time for you to step aside and allow your partner to do that. Because again, when it comes to relationships, one cannot make, uh, you know, two people understand each other. It has to take both of you guys to be able to understand that on a deeper level. Okay. Now, the cards that have to do with your partner at the present time is the King of Swords. So they are very to the point right now. They, Their patience is very, very little, if any. Um, they are. It could be that you're dealing with an air sign as well, another air sign. So it would be an Aquarius, like a, a Gemini, like yourself, an Aquarius, or uh, a Libra. Or it could very well represent the fact that this is how they're seeing you. And they're seeing you as the King of Swords. The King of Swords is someone that doesn't, you know, has very little patience, uh, cuts through the bullshit, doesn't want to deal with any of the drama. And if your partner is one to enjoy a little bit of drama, uh, when it comes to like talking even to family members or whatnot about the issues that are going on within the relationship, uh, they're seeing you as very standoffish, very cold, very distant. Again, the page here of swords is definitely talking about mess messages and communication coming through in a very disrespectful way. So this could be that they hear uh, certain rumors about you um, or you hear rumors about your partner, <clears throat> not necessarily that is happening in the recent, but that could have happened in the past 
again, there is a lot of need for clarity and understanding on both on both sides. The page of source can also represent uh, that the way you try to communicate, uh, maybe at this point, you are the one that's like, you know what, I'm not going to deal with it. If you want to put the effort, go ahead and put the effort in, show me you want me, etc. And at the present time, your partner is definitely not dealing with that. They feel like you either have unappreciated, uh, took them for granted, didn't appreciate them, and it's like they build their wall and they're not allowing you to step in and get closer to them. So again, like I said, there's a lot of need for communicate, strong communication because there's a lot of blockages going on for you Geminis at the present time. Now, the Nine of Cups does represent um, the wish fulfillment part, but next to the Page of Swords, the Nine of Cups is definitely talking about family. So there's a lot of family issues going on, a lot of... Um, uh, it can even be a representation of, you know, having family difficulties like a child, um, a parent. There's something that triggers you to get to a point where you just don't want to deal with it anymore. And again, your partner is at the present time uh, feeling overwhelmed. Perhaps there's even a feeling of I want to walk away from this relationship. And the only reason why they haven't or why they feel they shouldn't is because it's directly having to do with the children that they are, the children that are involved. Now, the justice card is here, and the justice card is uh, in your partner sector. So what this represents is if there's been anything that has to do with you doing them wrong, or again, like I said, if we're talking about cheating on a cheating aspect, um, what goes around comes around. And that's something that is inevitable. That's just the way karma works. That's just the way the universe works. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can keep hidden or think you can keep hidden. But ultimately, you know, inevitably, they will come out to light. And the Justice card definitely talks about the past coming back into the present. Uh, but this time, your partner will be looking at the past to be able to make amends with the past and then move forward. So again, this can also represent endings uh, because the Justice card definitely does talk about karma and the Eight of Cups is moving away or pulling away from the relationship. So for some of you guys... It may be that, you know, ultimately, uh, you guys both have put the effort, but at this present time, uh, there's not really much communication going on between you guys, and there is a need to face whatever it has to do. Now, for some of you guys, it could represent an example. Um, for some, it could be that you perhaps cheated along the way when it came to your relationship, uh, not necessarily now in the recent, but in the past, for those of you guys that have been committed for quite a while. And it's going to come back into the life, into the present, where you're going to have to deal with that and do not come off as, you know, I, yeah, I did it at one point um, or take the the role of, of being offended because he or she is now confronting you about that. Like at the end of the day, we have to face our consequences. You know, it's kind of like, you know, the action comes with the reaction, and that's inevitability. So again, like I said, um, for some of you guys, the justice and the eight of wands is like the things that have been done in the past will definitely be coming back into the present. So you can finally let that present go. So I mean, that past go. So it could go up two ways. One, you guys actually face and deal with that and move forward. Or for some of you guys, it's actually the ending of the relationship and walking away from this relationship, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I'm so sorry it does sound um, a little bit darker than the previous ones. But I mean, ultimately, at the end of the day, we have to deal and we have to face with our consequences. With every action, there's a reaction again, like I said. So I hope this helps you guys uh, throughout this process and on your journey towards an answer. Uh, comment, like, and share my videos. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And we'll see from each other next month. Okay? Bye.